So, let us solve one more problem. Find the angle between the curves x plus y plus 2 is equal to 0 and x square plus y square minus 10 y is equal to 0. So, first let us find out points of intersection of these two curves. given curves are x plus y plus 2 is equal to 0 equation 1 x square plus y square minus 10 times y equals to 0. Solving one and two. First, from equation one, y is equal to minus x minus two, we can write it. So, from equation one, so that implies we get y equals to minus x minus 2. Am I correct? Or you can write like this also minus of x plus 2. Substitute y is equal to minus of x plus 2 in equation 2. That means in the equation 2 we have to replace it. So, we get now put y is equal to minus of x plus 2 in equation 2. Now we get okay, x square plus minus of x plus 2 square okay, minus 10 times minus of x plus 2 equal to 0. So, let it be simplified. Generally, we may take quadratic actually here. Generally, we may expect a quadratic equation in terms of x. So, x square this will be minus square is plus only this appears to be a plus b whole square. So, x square plus 2ab 4x plus b square plus 4 minus 10 into minus plus plus 10x plus 20 equals to g. So, let it be simplified x square plus x square 2x square 4x plus 10x 14x 4 plus 20 24 equals to 0. Take 2 common out we get x square plus 7x plus 12 is equal to 0. So, x square plus 7x plus 12 is equal to 0 by 2 is 0. So, this is the quadratic expression. So, now we need to solve it using factorization method. 4 3 is 12, 4 plus 3 7. So, we can write x square plus 4x plus 3x the middle term can be split as 4x plus 3x so plus 12 is equal to 0. Take x common, we have x plus 4 plus 3 common x plus 4 equal to 0. Now, what shall we take out common? Yes, you are correct. This x plus 4 we can take out common x plus 4 into x plus 3 equal to 0. So, now here we get like this x plus 4 is equal to 0 or x plus 3 equals to 0. So, we get two cases x is equal to minus 4 x is equal to minus 3. Okay. 
for x is equal to minus 4 the corresponding y value need to find out with the help of this y is equal to minus of x plus 2. So let us find out x is equal to minus 4 that implies y is equal to minus of minus of x plus 2 that means minus 4 plus 2. So minus of minus 2 this is 2 for x is equal to minus 3 the corresponding value of y has to be evaluated in the similar manner. So minus of x plus 2. So minus of minus 3 plus 2. So minus of minus 1 that will be 1. Now the let us write the points of intersection. Now not point of intersection. Here two points of intersection has been obtained here. So let us write those points of intersection of the given two curves. Now points of intersection are minus 4 comma 2 and minus 3 comma 1. Let us write it. Points of intersection. or say p minus 4 comma 2 and q minus 3 comma 1. That means at p the angle between the curves we have to find out. At q also the angle between the curves we need to find out. So let us find out first. So take the curve here once again consider x plus y plus 2 is equal to 0. So this is the linear equation in two variables that obviously that represents straight line. Slope of the straight line is minus x coefficient by y coefficient directly we can write here minus 1. You need not differentiate or if you wish you can differentiate also no problem. So now differentiate both sides with respect to x. So now we get 1 plus dy by dx plus 0 is equal to 0. So dy by dx is equal to minus 1. I already told you. Okay, now slope of the tangent at p and q we need to find out here. So now say that is m1 only dy by dx at p equals to minus 1. Same for the first curve say m1 only. dy by dx at p this is also minus 1. Sorry at q second point. Now consider second curve, equation to the second curve that is x square plus y square minus 10 y equals to 0. Differentiate both sides with respect to x. So now we get x square differentiation to x. So y square differentiation is 2y dy by dx minus 10 y differentiation is dy by dx equals to 0. Now divide by 2 you get x plus y dy by dx minus 5 dy by dx equal to 0. Now dy by dx common y minus 5 dy by dx equal to minus x dy by dx equal to minus x by y minus 5 or you can write x by 5 minus y 
this is the dy by dx for the second curve. Now we need to find out m2 at p, m2 at q we have to find out for the second curve. So m2 slope of the tangent at p to the second curve dy by dx at p. So at p means this point minus 4 comma 2. So that means x is minus 4 y is 2 we have to replace. So this equal to here we have to substitute x by 5 minus y. So minus 4 divided by 5 minus 2 that will be minus 4 by 3 understood now. So m2 actually has been evaluated here let us find out m2 at q dy by dx at q. So q means these are the coordinates are to be taken into consideration x stands for minus 3 y stands for 1 substituting here x for minus 3 y for 1 minus 3 by 5 minus 1 that is minus 3 by 4. So now at p we know the m1 at p we know the m2 similarly at q also. So two cases will arise at p we have to find out angle between the curves the case 1 at q the angle between the curves we need to find out that the case 2. So let us find out the respective angles at the respective of points of intersection of p and q. First let us find out the angle between the curves at p. At p we know that m1 is equal to minus 1 and m2 is equal to minus 4 by 3. So case 1 let us consider first case 1 let theta be the angle angle between the curves that means given curves at p okay. So now tan theta principle mod of m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2. So let us substitute m1 for minus 1 m2 for minus 4 by 3 at p. So that means the minus 1 minus of minus plus 4 by 3. 1 plus m1 into m2 that is plus 4 by 3. So now 3 is the LCM minus 3 plus 4 here 3 is the LCM 3 plus 4 3 3 gets cancelled. This will be mod of 1 by 7 that is equal to 1 by 7. Therefore, theta is equal to tan inverse 1 by 7. The angle between the curves at P is tan inverse 1 by 7. So, now we have need to consider case 2. Case 2. Case 2. Again, let theta be the angle between angle between the given curves. Okay. Again, we need to recall this formula only. Tan theta is equal to mod of m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2. So let us substitute respective values. 
at q between the curves actually at q here at the point q so now at q m1 is equal to minus 1 m2 is equal to minus 3 by 4 so here minus 1 plus 3 by 4 1 plus 3 by 4 so let it be simplified 4 is the lcm minus 4 plus 3 by 4 is the lcm 4 plus 3 this is mod of minus 1 by 7 this is equal to 1 by 7 so what does theta stand for here yes theta is equal to tan inverse 1 by 7 see the same angle has been obtained here the angle between the curves is theta is equal to tan inverse 1 by 7 in both cases. So, in this way we can find out the angle between the two curves. It is very very important problem. I hope you might have actually understood well.